Oh, Canada. Canada has lost its marbles and its freedom, and that's sad. Prime Minister Justin, Justin Blackface Trudeau is accused of tyranny for his latest crackdown on the trucker protest against COVID mandates. Trudeau has invoked the Emergencies Act, which gives the government power to break its own laws in times of war or public order emergencies. He made the announcement yesterday after spending hours with his team on his hair and makeup. Watch. The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act to supplement provincial and territorial capacity to address the blockades and occupations. We're entering the third week of illegal blockades that have been disrupting the lives of too many Canadians. Here in our capital city, families and small businesses have been enduring illegal obstruction of their neighbourhoods. Occupying streets, harassing people, breaking the law. This is about keeping Canadians safe. This is about my hair. The guy on the right of the screen is like, I hate him and I hate his handsome hair. Uh, why he didn't mention, what he didn't mention is that he's using his new powers to freeze the truckers' personal and corporate bank accounts, confiscate their rigs and throw them in jail for speaking out against his nonsensical and now arbitrary health orders. But the prime minister says they're still allowed to protest, eh? As long as they do it when, where, and how he wants them to. How kingly. We are not limiting people's freedom of speech. We are not limiting freedom of peaceful assembly. We are not preventing people from exercising their right to protest legally. We are reinforcing the principles, values, and institutions that keep all Canadians free. Oh my God, he's so nauseating. Uh, so he has to take their freedoms in order to save their freedoms. Got it. At least four Canadian premiers, the equivalent of state governors, call that dangerous overreach. And the Canadian Civil Liberties Association, normally a lapdog for Trudeau, says he's threatening Canada's democracy. But after two years of lockdowns, forced masking and vaccine passports, is there any democracy left to threaten in Canada? Let's get into it with tonight's man panel. We've got former Trump advisory board member Jason Meister. He is the host of the aggressive progressive podcast, former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer, who's going to get primaried. It's Christopher Hahn. Smiles, everyone. And 2020 Libertarian Party vice presidential candidate. Will he run in 2024? Uh, say no more. It is Spike Cohen in front of the world. And once again, God rest Larry King's soul. And P.J. O'Rourke. I was devastated to hear about P.J. O'Rourke. Uh, more on that later. Yes. All right, so I will start with you, Jason, because you called Justin Trudeau a tyrannical fascist. I am not going to correct you. <laughs> Why do you sum him up like that? Kennedy, it's really simple. I mean, if you think about it, when American cities were burned to the ground, uh, by BLM and Antifa, the left called Donald Trump a tyrannical fascist, right? But when Justin Trudeau gets honked at, he, he declares martial law and seizes truckers' bank accounts without due process. Uh, these truckers ha are not a threat to the Canadian citizenry. Uh, Justin Trudeau is the threat to the Canadian citizenry. These truckers are holding candles, they're waving the Canadian flag, they're singing the national anthem, and all they're doing is asking for the government to treat them as equal participants in the society. Mm. Get rid of the mandates, Justin, and the truckers will leave. That's all you have to do, you tyrannical fascist. Yeah. <laughs> He's got little tiny tyrannical Soros arms. It's, uh, I believe that's true. So Chris Hahn, why not sit some of these people down and talk to them? You know, as, as the mayor of Ottawa has done, why not sit them down and ask them why they're so upset? Ask them, why does this mean so much to you? Well, I think they should meet with them. But that said, you know, I'm concerned about the liberty of the businesses that have been suffering by these people blocking roads and blocking commerce, including businesses on the United States of America. Now we're upset it's about not surprising shutdowns. to me that a former Trump advisor would when be BLM okay with the economy the ground, Chris, being shut really down under Biden. I did care about it, and I called it out, just as you did. But now you're all for it because it hurts Biden. 
That's the only reason anybody from a Trump campaign would care about the truckers in Canada. It's because it hurts Biden. Their own union has disavowed oh, Chris them. wanted Trump to call martial law. Canada have Chris got wanted to call martial law can, on the BLMers. Okay. Of truckers in Canada. Mm. Hey, hey, sweetie, I let you talk. No, let don't me finish, say sweetie. okay? That, we're all, that is we've heard so enough suggestive. from the Trump team. And so, he's, he's not wearing lipstick, yes, it so is. don't call him sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. So, anyway, uh, so, so look, here's the deal. They like it because it hurts Biden. That's the only reason they like it. They don't care about anything else. They want to hurt the economy. They don't care about the liberty, the small businesses that are going under because these truckers are blocking major arteries. They don't care about the homeless people whose meals are being shut down because these people are stealing from them. Because they're they Nazis. only care about hurting Biden. Yeah, they're racist Nazis that want to hurt Joe Biden. That's the only reason they're, they're doing this. Really no other reason, right, Spike? No, no, no. The only no, reason I'm, I'm actually any glad that Republican okay, in the United States cares about it. anybody okay, talk about it. I'm really happy to hear that. Uh, and let's let Spike I'm really, talk. I'm really happy to hear that Chris, as well as Justin Trudeau and, and other progressives, are finally acknowledging that the shutdowns and lockdowns that we experienced for well over a year uh, were contributing to homelessness, small businesses shutting down. Uh, <laughs> they're very upset about a couple of border closings. Now, uh, you know, the entire border was shut down for over a year. Anyway, the reason that Justin Trudeau is invoking the Emergencies Act for the first time in Canadian history is precisely why I think it will fail. They've already proven, the Freedom Convoy has already proven that government power is not a real thing. When a small and irate enough minority of people simply refuse to comply, especially in a country like Canada, which doesn't have a police state nearly the size of the U.S.'s, uh, if they simply refuse to uh, comply, the government really can't do anything about it. I, I don't know yet, and it remains to be seen, if Trudeau will be able to successfully stop them. But if he's not able to stop them, then everyone is going to that is watching right now, other protest groups, uh, people who typically comply with orders and mandates they think are stupid and useless, mm -hmm. even common criminals, are going to look and see the government has no ability to stop this. Uh, and like was said at the beginning, uh, Trudeau has said from the beginning that all options are on the table. There is one option that ends all of this immediately, and that's ending the mandates. And that's what should have been done from day one. Which they're doing in countries around the world, but not yeah. in Canada. Uh, and, you know, the, I, I doubt they will ever follow the science. They are going to follow the authoritarianism. Uh, supply chain be damned.